Most are aware of the benefits of our Speakeasy product, which voice enables common applications such as picking and replenishment. But one of the other differentiators about Speakeasy is that it allows an unmatched level of customization and flexibility for customers to really fine tune their processes. We strive to give our customers the best possible voice implementation, and sometimes that means making adjustments to the processes to further the productivity gains. For example, as we work with you to implement the solution, it gives us a chance to study the entire process with you and determine where improvements can be made. Through the screen reformatter, we are able to adjust the scripts of your application and edit them to work even better with voice than they already would have. Let's take a look at an example of a recent implementation and illustrate this point. Hi, I'm Sam Gonzalez, and what I wanted to talk to you about today was the process that Wavelink goes through whenever we do a Speakeasy implementation for one of our customers. Now, many of you may be aware that Speakeasy is an excellent way to quickly voice enable any host application, but what a lot of you may not be aware of is that we also have capabilities to enhance the existing process above and beyond what the host application is currently able to do. Now, you may have been introduced to the screen reformatter. The screen reformatter is an extremely powerful tool that helps you voice enable using a very easy GUI utility. However, Wavelink Speakeasy also has a powerful scripting engine. Now, using a combination of the two, it allows us to do a lot of things that you wouldn't normally be able to do. For example, whenever we are doing an implementation, we spend a lot of time out on the floor with the users. We analyze the process, and we look for opportunities to save time. Now, adding voice to an application will inherently give you gains and a return on investment. However, if you really want to see those big returns, you need to find those areas where the user is spending a lot of time and see how you can reduce that. If the user is looking at the screen for extended periods of time, or if they're pressing a lot of keys to perform a function, that's a great opportunity to enhance. We can take any of those functions and turn them into a single voice command, saving a lot of frustration and time. Now, the way that we're able to do that is mainly through our scripting utility. We also have the ability to go outside of the host applications processes and add things that didn't exist before. For example, the demo that I'm going to show you today is for an implementation that we recently did. Before we get into the demo, let me explain what the use case was and why we felt this was a good area to optimize. So this particular customer, uh, we were working on their picking process. Now in this picking process, they were picking very small items in very large quantities. For example, the pick quantities could be as high as 20,000. Now, to complicate things even further, after they sent the boxes to the line, they would only take however many items they needed and then they'd send a partial quantity back. So in addition to picking these large quantities, there was also partial boxes. Where the complication came in is the host application gave the pick to the user in eaches. So it would literally say something along the lines of pick 11,246. So the user would then have to get out a piece of paper, a pencil, and a calculator to figure out how many boxes they needed to pick. Now in order to streamline this process, we basically created a very simple script that asked the user for the box quantity, if they were going to pick a partial, how many were in that partial, and it does the math for them. The user doesn't have to be concerned with the total quantity, they just give the system the information, the system tells them how many boxes to take. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you how this process works. The customer using the process that I'm going to show you today is actually using it on a WT4090, like the one to my right. However, for demonstration purposes, we're going to go ahead and show you on the truck mount. Now remember, if you were a user in this warehouse, you would have to grab a paper, a pencil, and a calculator to do it the old way. Keeping that in mind, let me show you how easy we've been able to make this with Speakeasy. Say again. Box quantity. So the first thing that it asks you is the box quantity, which is the amount of items in a full box. 4,216 ready. 4,216. 
Partial quantity. Then it reads back the quantity that I just spoke just to verify that it heard me correctly. After that, it asks me for a partial quantity. This gives me an opportunity to add a partial if I need to. 1,122 ready. 1,122. Pick three boxes and one partial of 1,122. The next thing that it did is it did the math for me. It told me to pick three full boxes and the partial of 1,122. Once I've completed the task and I'm ready for my next instruction, I simply say ready. Ready. Box quantity. Go to. Location. Michael 58-15-Fox drop 10. And that's it.